everyone, Adrian from AdrianEarnshaw.com here. It's been a little while since we did a product review, so I thought we'd treat you to a fairly new release from Plug Hugger, Journey to Magonia. No, not Magnolia, Magonia. It's a patch library for Omnisphere, and you get the main library and a small bonus library called Primal Kazoo. So, Journey to Magonia is inspired by the otherworldly tales collected by Jacques Vallée and the investigations of the mysterious Skinwalker Ranch by George Knapp. Journey to Magonia is a sonic journey to the centre of the earth where the dinosaurs still roam among the fantastical creatures of myth. Primal Kazoo are patches created using sounds from a kazoo and the Vuvuzela. The kazoo sounds are from a plastic version and also the used a wooden version. If you're a football fan, you certainly, definitely, most probably heard of a Vuvuzela. They are the annoying horn sounds you hear from the fans, which, well, quite frankly, it really gets on my nerves, that sound. However, this library transports them into a, an extra dimension. The patch library provides you with 280 sounds, and you will need Omnisphere 2.8.5 or above. And this library is built as suitable for cinematic, fantasy, and mystique. Journey to Magonia is priced at €35.90, and the music you can hear underneath my voice is a track which will go into more detail using just the sounds from Journey to Magonia. Before we get on to the sounds, I have a very small request of you all. Just over 70% of you that watch this channel frequently do not subscribe. So if you've enjoyed my videos, please could you be a little favour and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel more than you know, and the bigger the channel gets, the more the YouTube logarithm kicks in and we can start getting guests on for interviews for even more music tips. So with that out of the way, let's hear what this match library sounds like. No, we won't be going through all 280 sounds as if I did, we'll be here for some time. So I will just play through a selection of sounds from the different categories. So all I will say to you is grab your favourite beverage, buckle up as we journey to Magonia. Thank you. 
Well, that's what this library sounds like in a sort of musical composition context. All the sounds you hear or have heard are from the library, um, either the main Journey to Magonia library or the Kazoo library that uh, comes with it. Let's have a quick look at exactly what I've been doing here. First of all, I've color coded these tracks so we can see what's going on. The opening is these wonderful little textures, Comfort and Ease of Visiting Lynch. Well, straight away a fantastic mood setter uh, for the for the introduction of the track we then have the drum track the rhythm that sort of like drives this along and uh, these like deep tonal kicks and stuff that come with the library that's arrival of Xerxes And then further on, we have these compacted hits, which are like a snare. So they just sort of like take the place of a snare. Not quite a snare sound, but it, it sort of like gives the impression of of filling that gap in the kick. Uh, and then we think bring this thing called in Echoes of Past. Like a spring, a wooden type spring sound. And then we bring in Builder of Bells. Which is like a hi-hat type sound. And they fill that gap for the hi-hat. Together, we get this nice little rhythm track. And that just repeats and then until the end. But it sort of like gives that industrial tonal edge to the sound. And then throughout we have this very simple bass line, Strat Cowbot. It's not like an echoey bass. And we have two wonderful pad sounds. Recharging the Sun and State of Strange Flute. Now if we couple all those together, we get the base of the track. What really set this track off for me was when I came across this patch uh, in the library called Dreamy Electric Piano and straight away I literally played this riff. So it gives that dreamy effect straight away and it's sort of like a triplet time, which isn't something I tend to write. I sort of like either write on the beat, straight beats or off beat. But this is like a triplet, so you get the one under, one under, one under all the way through. So if you have to listen and think one under when you listen to it. And then if we couple that with the main basis of the track, it's easy just to solo the rest of these now and play it sorry I've just gone solo the wrong way around it should be soloed these that's why I need to do that that's it now let's try it
So straight away you got like a nice little ambient track without even trying. And then we have this Vuzela piano. This is not Klezmer and Water Bells 2, all playing the melody, the main melody over the top of that wonderful riffy sound. So straight away you can hear what that each one is bringing a different character to the sound. This is not Klezmer gives that sort of strange, unsettling off tone sound. Whether the bells gives a bit of an uplift and then the piano, well, is just strange. <laughs> but it works. And then if we go to pop pluck, which is like an arpeggiated pattern, we get this. And if we couple all that together, we end up with this sound. And then we have sparse effects through Whale of Time and Singing for the Wind. So Whale of Time sounds like this. And it gives a nice transition between passages. And we bring it in again when we introduce the main melody. And then we have another one called Singing for the Wind. Which sounds strange on its own, but when we couple it with the rest of the track, and not forgetting this is not Klezmer, the slightly off tone sound, it works nicely. It feels inaudible, but if I took it out, you'd know it's not there. So if I mute that and play that same passage again, you realise it's missing. And again, with Singing for the Wind in. So it's very subtle in the background, but it has the effect of just transitioning the repeat basically. So that's what it all sounds like in a musical context. So there we have it, Journey to Magonia from the stable of Plukugger. Who would have thought a kazoo and a vuvuzela, two of the most annoying instruments I know of, could produce really interesting sounds. Coupled with the textures from the main library, there's something for all styles of cinematic musicians. This is a nice addition to the ever-growing Omnisphere market, and the Plug Hugger website has a burgeoning library of sounds for Omnisphere. If you haven't already done so, go and check it out. There's a link in the description below. And dear viewers, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and visit adrianershaw.com, sign up for the newsletter, and that way you will never miss a beat of the goings-on in the world of Spectrosonics, Omnisphere, and much more. Until the next video, catch you then.